Hello there. I'm just swimming a Eurasian coot here. And I'm just swimming along He's in a pond up kind of chase. Hmm. Huh. Now it looks like it's diving for food. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely feeding. Hmm. Well, the Eurasian coot is a type of water bird. Mm, though it is not closely related to ducks or geese, mm, it is a type of rail water bird. And there are many different species. And the Eurasian coot is the, the largest species here in Great Britain. Mm. This bird has a blackish grey body with a black head, red eyes, mm, yellowish legs and feet and a white beak with a, a frontal shield on the front of its face. Hmm. Looks like it's swimming further off now. Yeah. Hmm. Like most water birds, uh, they are found in, in a variety of freshwater habitats usually in slow moving or still water including ponds, rivers and lakes hmm. as its name implies the Eurasian coot is found throughout much of Eurasia which is Europe and Asia though it is also found in North and Western Africa New Guinea, Australia, and even New Zealand. So it is a very widespread water bird throughout much of the world. Hmm. Yes, yeah, it's soaring further and further. Yes. And this bird feeds mainly on aquatic uh, plants and insects uh, which you just saw earlier on was feeding I don't know on what though uh, probably aquatic plants or something like that uh. mm. in the breeding season like most uh, birds here in the UK Eurasian coots are very territorial <laughs> and can be very aggressive at that time of the year hmm. protecting their nest sites where they build their nests uh, which is made out mostly out of twigs and moss hmm. and of course very protective of their young hmm. and a female you raise in cute can lay up to 15 eggs. Hmm. Yep, that's how many. Though the average clutch is usually around five. Alright, I think I'll leave this Eurasian coot now. Well, thanks for joining me, everyone, and I'll see you next time.